Hey guys, in this video I will show you what I'm doing to um, try to get a TV cable uh, pulled from upstairs to downstairs. And you'll see there's a big hole cut out right now. And the reason I had to do that is to get access to the downstairs. So, the first thing I did was I got a drywall saw and I cut this piece, this vertical piece. And you'll see that the, um, the edges, the way I cut it is beveled just like this. The reason I did that is because after I'm all done, when I put this back on here, this piece is not going to fall right through. So that's the reason I cut that uh, at an angle. After I did that, what I should mention is um, the reason I cut it so uh, high, the opening, is because I want to make sure I have enough clearance to fit my drill here. I have a uh, close quarter, uh, 3 8 inch electric drill and at the end of this I have a, I have a three quarter three quarter inch drill bit here and what I first did was I put the drill inside this hole here and then I started with the top this two by four right underneath uh, right behind the base port here so I drill through that using my three quarter once I got through the, the top layer, there's going to be two pieces, most likely there's going to be two pieces of 2x4 stacked on top of each other. Once you get through that, of course the length of this is not going to be able to reach the bottom, the, the downstairs. So I also have a, a longer one. This is a half an inch and there's a much longer uh, drill bit. So what I do is that once I get through the top access, then I'm able to Get this longer one through here and then once it's in here then I mount the drill onto that longer bit so I would mount it inside here and continue drilling all the way down hopefully this piece you got this drill bit you have will be long enough um, and if it's not long enough, then you might have to find a drill bit that's a little longer just to get through. Because downstairs, uh, where the ceiling is, there's going to be another 2x4. I think another two piece of a 2x4. So the total depth to get from upstairs to downstairs is probably a good uh, foot and a half. I'm, I'm guessing around there. Uh, so once you get through, what I have here is the um, fiberglass rods and these are used for fishing wires in the wall and I'll show you so these are the um, fiberglass rods you can buy and these are really nice to have because what you do is that once you put in the first piece you can actually screw in additional pieces okay screw it in and then it'll get attached so you can run quite a uh, a good length if you start cascading one after another on these fiberglass rods and I taped on the first piece I taped the cable onto the end I got some electric tape and I start feeding it down okay so that's why you see the uh, fiberglass rod and this black cable. So I'm running this cable all the way to downstairs. Now after you get it to downstairs, you need to open up another hole, of course, to retrieve the end and get the cable out. After you do that and you're satisfied, then you close this up. Okay. And I'm not going to do a video on drywall but there's there's plenty of uh, videos you can find on YouTube on how to patch up a hole but but the, the hard part is all done here so let me run downstairs and I'll show you where that cable is I'm downstairs now and as you can see I open up a hole and then I'll be putting in an outlet and you can still see the uh, fiberglass rod 
was taped up to the end of that cable. So you just have to open up a hole big enough where you can actually get a flashlight in there and see where the rod is. One thing you want to do is measure the distance because I'm directly pulling the, the cable from upstairs all the way downstairs. So make sure the the, the distance from the, in, the outside wall to your first hole matches that of where you're drilling upstairs. That will make it a lot easier because you don't want to drill up here and then and then try to find a hole over there because that rod is you know of course it's going to want to go straight down so but hopefully uh, that can help some of you guys if you want to pull wires from uh, one floor to another and uh, you know you do have to be careful of you know electrical outlets and uh, any type of uh, plumbing but you kind of get, get an idea if you look at uh, the other side of this wall and see what's on both sides okay if you have any uh, questions, uh, leave me a comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.